Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dartron here for another mod showcase and today we're having a look at the Dragon Veil mod. Now, this mod is actually based on a app or a game or something like that. I'll be perfectly honest, full disclosure here, I have no idea what it is. I've never played it or anything like that, so we're just going to kind of wing this. But if you play Dragon Veil then, or got the app, then this is going to be like the perfect mod for you. So anyway, we'll go through the blocks. We've got the portal block here which is made to, used to make portals, the gem ore, which is, well, it's ores for gems. Uh, got the coin press here, uh, gem, dragon scale, and coin. Now, the gem ore does spawn randomly, like if we get down here, get your butt down there. If we go down here, I actually managed to find some. So it is around, it does come in like a couple per one so what we're gonna do here actually is we will mine it to see how many we get I believe you only get one which is a bit of a shame but game mode zero because I believe you actually need quite a lot of this stuff so yeah we only we only get one obviously so game mode zero again oh let me go up <laughs> oh it didn't do it did it damn it uh, I always make myself look like a jackass on these videos. Anyway, up we go. And I believe you need a furnace to actually do this, so let me find one. I thought I had this all done and prepped, but no! Da has to forget stuff all the time, god damn it. Anyway, so we're just going to place a furnace down here. Place that there. And as you can see, it's cooking it like it would any other ore. Cooking, 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 cooking. Well, smelting actually, but it's not actually cooking because you're not actually making anything that you can eat. Anyway, so as you see, it gives us gems. And you don't need that or that anymore. Uh, I have no idea how you get dragon scales. I presume it's by killing dragons, and we'll get to them soon. Coins, however, you have to use a coin press. Now, this is something that you have to craft, and I have no idea of the crafting recipe. I've looked all over the place, and I just can't figure it out. So, I'm sorry about that. I hate it when I can't include crafting recipes, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Anyway, when, when if you haven't actually managed to craft it or spawn it in creators, what you have to do is you place redstone on the bottom instead of coal for a furnace, and we use iron ingots, and that actually goes pretty quickly as you can see, and you get one iron ingot gets you one coin, which is a bit silly, I would have put gold instead of iron ingots, but that's just me. Coins are something that you're going to need later as well, obviously. So let's move over to what we can craft. Now to make a portal block, all you need is four gems like this, and that gets you a portal block. Let's get one of these actually and just show you. You see a portal block, it's just like a stone block but with writing all over it. Next up we have the portal starter, which is kind of like the flint and steel. And you need six redstone, two sticks, and a gem. And that gets you the portal starter here. And goddamn, that's not supposed to be on. Break that. Show you that soon. And over here, what looks like a reverse portal starter is the portal creator. You need four portal stones or bricks or whatever a gold block two gems and a portal starter and that'll get you a portal creator now the portal creator is actually different to the portal starter for the portal starter all it does is start the portal once you've made it exactly like a normal never portal click on the bottom there and as you can see it's opened the portal a portal creator however is quite an interesting item in my opinion so if we go over here and click down on the ground it gives you a portal just randomly makes one out of nowhere which is pretty cool but this does have one drawback which is if we go to uh, normal mode and we click down you notice that the portal creator disappears it only has one use which I can kind of see, but I don't see why you would ever make a portal creator when you can just use a portal starter on a portal that you've made. So that's that's one thing. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some da -da -da, some gems and some coins, and we're going to jump through this portal here. It's downloading terrain. Da -da -da -da. Now, what's interesting with this? 
I suppose you could call it dimension in a way, is you actually spawn on floating islands. I kind of like that. And they're all, again, randomly generated, just like regular Minecraft and stuff. And over here, we actually have the main focus of this mod, which is the dragons. This is a green dragon over here, and then over here we have uh, some red dragons and stuff. Um, I'll actually, let me spawn in the dragons so you guys can actually see all of them. Um, we've already seen those two, so let's get an earth dragon and a blue dragon. Uh, that's a earth dragon. It kind of looks like a dinosaur, to be honest, more than anything else. And we can spawn a blue dragon. Which, is it me, or does that look exactly like the blue eyes white dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh? It can't just be me. I'm Seto Kaiba. This is my blue eyes white dragon. Oh, no, no. Damn you, Yugi. Anyway, uh, what you can actually do with these dragons is... I don't, I don't think it matters which ones you do it. Use coin on it. Um, I believe it's kind of like tamed, but it doesn't seem to follow you around. So we go over here and do the same thing with this guy. It doesn't always work first time. So that one's tamed. And now you use gems on them. And gem on that guy. And they will breed. And instead of actually spawning a normal dragon, what it gives you is an egg. And we can place that down. And sooner or later it will hatch. I don't know what you actually have to do to make it hatch, but I presume sooner or later it just does it by itself. Um, and it'll hatch into babies, which we actually have here. So I can show you the baby dragons. Um, I don't think we need all this anymore. Um, there, there, and there. So let's start off with the blue, hatched blue dragon egg. See a little, just a little version. It's a baby blue eyes! Um, hatched earth egg. Oh, he's so cute. A uh, little dragon. It kind of looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> and the green one, which again looks like a Pokemon. But apparently, like using different one, different dragons. Whoa, what the hell? Are they fighting or are they just humping? Oh, god damn it, that's weird. Using different one, like different. Ugh, I can't even talk. Breeding different dragons gives you. Um, you can only have them for. All right, these do follow you. So these. Oh no, he's following the gem. Never mind. <laughs> here, boy. Come here, boy. Oh, you don't want it now. Okay. Well, s screw you. Um, using breeding different dragons obviously gives you different dragons. If we come over here, and I don't think it's going to work from that distance. Um, hey, you d don't fall down there. Don't fall down. Grab him, and then do that to him. And there's a green dragon over here. I wonder if it works from this distance. If it doesn't, there's one closer. And that's not going to work. Let's do it to this guy over here. Do do do. No, go hump! Go! Okay, you're not going to do it. Fine. Screw you. <laughs> Be that way then. And I'm just going to show you the other islands, actually, because so you get some pretty cool spawns, actually, like, over here. Nice little small island, you get big islands as well. And, god... Plant dragon egg. Oh. They must have already humped. <laughs> no, I was here earlier, testing stuff out. But... Apart from that, I don't... There's not really much else to this mod. I think it's pretty cool. I don't see any use for the dragons or anything like that, but I think the guy's going to constantly update it and add some more dragons and stuff, some different types. It'd be nice if they actually had certain drops per dragon or something like that, or they were used in some way, but I don't think they are currently. Let's just kill this guy and see what it gives us. Oh, it gave us a coin. Okay. So you can kill dragons for coins. Um, you can drop them off cliffs, <laughs> off the sides. See if we can find one that's close by. Um, this guy will do. And they actually kind of like float down like um, chickens do. And my understanding is, I think if they drop down, they actually go to the normal world, which we're going to attempt to do now. So let's drop down. Um, do do do. Yeah, so we if we fall down, we dr drop down right back to the regular overworld. Um, I don't know how far we are from where we started, I think. Oh, no, right, right over there. Yeah, see? Here he is. He dropped down. Hey there, boy. What's up? <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the Dragon Veil mod. It is for Minecraft 1.6.4. You do need Minecraft Forge. Uh, I thought it was quite interesting. 
Um, I think it deserves at least 100 likes, personally. Is this even done yet? Oh, it is done. Okay. Um, but it's quite interesting. So if you've actually ever played the app or whatever, this would be the perfect mod for you. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the entire video, guys. I'll catch you next time with a new mod showcase or some Digimobs or some Attack of the B-Team or some other video. Who the hell knows on this channel? It could be anything. So stay safe, guys. Till next time.